Nate Davis, ASE Test Tips.com. We're going to discuss how to read a schematic and show you how the individual power window switches connect to the master power control switch in a series circuit. You might see something like this on the ASE test. Now, here's my circuit breaker, which is the power source. It's a 35 amp fuse. And that's the power to go see mostly all the switches. And here's my ground. So if we can diagnose the circuit, understand the circuit, you need to know the power source and the ground. Where it's located at. The first switch we're going to talk about is the master switch assembly. Which is this one here. And the right hand front power window switch. Which is this one here. And the right hand front power window motor which is here. Now you see these dark black lines? All the power is fed on those dark black lines from that fuse, or, or, <clears throat> or should I say circuit breaker. And you can see P and K means a pink wire. That dot in the middle it's a splice. That means anything that connects, it to, that connects to that is hot from that circuit breaker. Example would be this wire is hot, this wire is hot, this wire is also hot. But the one you may, uh, no, uh, and that wire is hot. That's the one you may not see. You see this line here? It's also hot. And you can see that connects all the switches inside that master switch assembly. See that? It goes right from that fuse to those switches also. Now, let's go back over to the master switch assembly. The right hand front window. I want to send it in the up position. You're going to see how this switch here, oops. How this switch here is in series with this switch here, here the right hand front door, right hand front power window switch. So, let's say I'm going to put the switch in the up position. See that little pull piece right there? I'm going to turn to the UP up. Remember, that's hot. Remember the whole line is hot. So I'm gonna send it to the up position. That means voltage is gonna flow out terminal D down that blue white wire here and at terminal E of the right hand front power window switch out C to the motor. You can go through that motor to the solid state assembly and out B back to the right front power window switch. From there, that switch doesn't move. It's locked in that position for right now. So I'm going to go out terminal B. up to terminal E of the master switch. And guess what? That switch doesn't move either. 
right now, and that's locked in that position. But guess what? That switch is also connected to my ground wire. You saw it's falling to the ground? That completes the circuit for that right front power window switch. So I have my power, my power, my ground, the motor moves, and the window goes up. So to prove this in series, to prove that the right hand front power switch is in series with the master switch, if that switch goes bad, and I operate this switch, here it won't work the window won't move because it's in series with the right front power switch Now the same principle works if I want to go down. Same principle. The poles just switch. The poles inside a massive switch assembly just switch positions, and the principle still applies. Now, now both is going to flow the opposite direction, but it'll be the same principle. Now, this is power. I want to go down, and this will be my ground. And that's what should be the ground. I shall let me do it like this. That will be my ground now. So in the down position, that switch is now ground compared to what compared to what it was before. So again, the individual power switch is connected in series to the master switch assembly. I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, let me know. Peace. This is Nate Davis. ASETestTip.com Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.